Okay, everybody, what's happening? JD, a.k.a. The Black Italian, Get Do Records, Get Do Distribution. The gig's up, I gotta tell you. I've been here with Willie Green, my, 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 my uh, business associate. I'm over here stuttering because I've been doing three serious videos and I'm just not a serious dude. I'm serious about his foundation though, the Willie Green Project, and I'm real serious about this book that Willie wrote, Just To Be Free. We've been talking a lot about him incarcerated 27 years, 27 years falsely accused of something he didn't commit, and the state of California didn't give this man a dime. He did not get one penny for the 27 years that they stole from him. And I gotta tell the camera out there right now, Willie Green is not only one of my business partners in multiple businesses, I've been blessed to call this man my best friend. So for all you racists out there, you can give a because I ain't hearing none of that. This is JDAK, the black Italian. I'm an American, and this was an American injustice. So everybody out there, you need to go get this book, Just To Be Free. Check out his website, www.willygreen.com. That's www.willygreen.com. We've, we've sat here for the last hour, and I want to thank Money Mark with Get Do Distribution, the cameraman. I want to thank Joe, the bro, for helping with his input. I want to thank my staff. But most of all, I want to thank Mr. Green, my friend, my best friend. This man has been with me for eight years by my side, working his ass off after he didn't get nothing to make something of himself. He educated himself while he was in the penitentiary. He wrote this book. He created a foundation that helps at-risk teens. He created a foundation that helps single mothers. He's, the foundation helps men and women that are getting out of prison get reassimilated into the community. That's what you get when you follow www.willygreen.com and buy this book just to be free. That's what it is. We're going to end this segment out though. And I want Willie just to tell you how he felt when he was fighting. He thought he was going to get $23 million. He had big shot lawyers telling him for years. Now you're talking a man that went to prison. When did you go to prison? 1983. And you were gone how long? It was 27 years, almost 27 years. Pretty much 27 years. 27 years he was gone. Yeah. How many of your family members died while you were in prison? And all who the, died? All, the, all my family members died while I was in prison. I don't have nobody but a sister left. Everybody else died. My, my mother, my father, my grandmother, my grandfather. Well, I mean, my so oldest sister, my brother. I have, I have no one plus, I don't have any kids. I don't have any biological kids of my own. They, they stole, denied, they stole that from me. They stole this man's life, but guess what? When God speak on something, nobody steals nothing. Tell them a little bit about the civil case and how they didn't give you a penny and how you felt and how you picked yourself up and all the things that you're a part of that you've been owned, worked for in our, in our relationship. Yeah. Well, I went to court, when I went to court uh, for the civil case, my lawyers told me that they could give me $25 million. And when I went to court, uh, the jury, they, they just couldn't see themselves giving them. I mean, just say it. Much, it, was, it, was, it was all white jury pretty much. In the, they, they just can see themselves giving me that type of money, you know? So, so for all your state legislation out there in California, you slick. You politicians are slick. You figured out how to loophole. So you didn't have to pay nothing for stealing somebody's life. I'll give you that one on this one. Because if I'd have been around, we sure as hell wouldn't have signed that appeal away. Yeah. Anyway, so, come on. so what they did was they just couldn't, they just didn't believe. I felt like I was going back to trial all over again. And how long was your civil case? It took a long time for the civil case to go through. I mean, it took a long time just to get it to the federal court. They didn't even want so, to take it. Those attorneys that you had, I know they tried their best, but the minute that judge said, or the jury were, said they weren't going to award you that money, what those attorneys do? Turned their back on me. I had to find my way back to Fresno. They wouldn't even answer his phone call. They don't even answer my phone call today. Nothing. It's gone. No money. T tell me about the day you were released from jail 
that the first thing that you've never seen that we take for granted. Can you tell the camera some of the things, how technology has changed, how the world has changed while you were gone for 27 years? Uh, I had to learn how to cross the street all over again. But the first thing they asked me when I was coming out of jail was, uh, I was, I was, I was uh, released from the LA County Courthouse downtown Los Angeles, California. And uh, them, I had a, a lot of media was there when I came out. So they knew something had to be wrong. They had that much media to, to, to just see one little weren't black man get out. Weren't you in People Magazine? Yeah, I'm in People Magazine too. So they said, what do you want, what do, you want to do, Mr. Green? What do you, what's the first thing you want to do? What do you want to do? Well, I didn't have a family member to say I want to go to because they had all passed away. So I said, I like to talk on one of those cell phones. <laughs> That's all I said. And about three or four people started passing me cell phones to talk on. I never will forget this Asian lady who was a news reporter. She gave me a cell phone just to, just to talk on. And I think she had called one of her colleagues or something back at the studio. And they just said, hi, Willie. And I go, hi. And I was like, uh, like hi. And they said, put it up to your ear. I go, hi. They said, like, congratulations and telling me how nice it was for me to be out and stuff. You know, and how they feel, how it really feels. You didn't even know what a cell phone was, huh? No, still don't really. <laughs> what year were you released? Uh, in 2008. Did you guys hear that? 2008. Didn't know what a cell phone was. After you got your cell phone call, what was the next thing you experienced? The next thing, uh, they took me to this big hotel downtown Los Angeles, and they asked me, had I ever, did I know what Starbucks was? And I said, I saw it on TV, but I don't know what it is. I never tasted it. So they had all Starbucks that donated me, all this Starbucks drinks, every kind that you can go and drink. So I drank a Starbucks. <laughs> Believe that? Had his first Starbucks in 2007? Eight? 2008. 2008. First yeah, Starbucks. First Starbucks. Yeah. So I don't take anything for granted. And I, and I tell you guys to, you know, the world, uh, don't take nothing for granted. You know, you know I mean, you could be going away from in the next minute, the next second. Don't take nothing for granted. And, we'll, and, 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 the, and the most important thing is, the family. Hug, hug your mama if you got one. Hug your father if you got one. Hug your kids if you got kids. I mean, if you're mad at your sister or your brother, give them a call. Say, you know what? Let's put that behind us and, and give them a call because I wish I had a, a, my brother and my mother or my father or my grandmother or my grandpa just to say it's going to be all right. So, so tell me this. We know you didn't get any money. Mm. Didn't get a dad. Tell them what you did, though. Tell them about the things that you've accomplished and the businesses that you helped me create and worked at, and the, the places you, not the places, but the, the businesses that you've been involved in, and the seven days of work week you worked, and how you came out of prison after 27 years. So none of these convicts that are getting out can say they can't re-enter society with the proper structure. Tell the cameras what, what some of the things that you've done. Let them know. Well, that's why it's so important why you're inside. To, to, not, to, to fix yourself from the inside out. Because you're inside, so you got to come out. One day you're going to be released. So you have to be prepared when you hit these streets out here. If you prepare when you hit these streets out here, you can do like I did. I got a job working for parole and probation when I got out. How many people can want to do that? How many people say, when I get out of prison, I'm going to go work for parole and probation? But I did. Even after the way I was treated. So I had a job when I got out. When I, got, when I retired from my job in, in 2012, uh, I was working with Jason. I've been working with him ever since. We didn't open up car lots. Uh, we didn't open up, uh, uh, we opened up uh, uh, real estate. Uh, commercial real estate, residential real estate. We went up car lots all in Mississippi, car lots uh, all out in Arosa, all out in Tulare. We, 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 we always work and doing something every day, but we never, we never stop. We never forget about the other people that's around us because Jason put a lot of people to work. You know, he wasn't just helping me, he helped a whole lot of people eat. And seeing his experience and seeing how he do makes me scroll every day.
We get it. We get it out here. We, we helping a lot of people. Bring on the camera over to me real quick. That's right, everybody. That was Willie Green telling you how we get it out here and how we help the community. You can go to www.williegreen.com. That's www.williegreen.com. You can get the book. Once again, you can get the book just to be free. Read this man's story. 90% of the proceeds go to our, our, our nonprofit. We are ground zero on making a difference on the streets of California and in the United States of America. You want to get behind something? You get behind mm -hmm. this book, just to be free. If you have any questions, there's a contact tab, or you can call me, JD, 559-352-5177, 559-352-5177. Anybody watching this, don't feel sorry for this no, man. No, no. He's doing okay. good. We're not telling the story for that. This man's a self-made millionaire now after going through what he went through. But what we need is we need your support to help those people less fortunate than us, those people that haven't had the opportunities, and that's why we're doing these videos. Because we're not going to stop until we don't have air in our lungs trying to do it, make a difference in America. Once again, I'm going to end this out hugging my best friend, and I'm going to let everybody see it. I, and everybody out there in America, I hope that God, when you go to bed tonight, if you do see color, God makes you blind tomorrow when you wake up. Peace out. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Just to be free, www.willygreen.com. Thank you.